to Welcome back to A Place in Space. You find us on Take Two where I will not be announcing Batwan, but Batman and Catwoman. Number eight, I know, new titles coming to you this week from A Place in Space. This one happily comes much faster on the heels of the preceding issue and still has the rather delicious Liam Sharp on the artwork. I like that. If you've been picking him up on Batman Reptilian, this man has got many, many strings to his bow. Talented dude, I like him. Batman Secret Files is also out. Obviously, there's been a Miracle Molly, there's been a Clown Hunter. This one, you've got the Peacekeeper out. So all one shots can be dived into straight away. You need to know nothing going in. So if you fancy yourself some light-ish reading, these are out now. Now then, Bill Willingham is um, a bit of a hero of mine, really. He not only single-handedly contributed to Fables, which reinvigorated the Vertigo line, he's just an all-round bit of a dude, and he's also back hybriding the Fables Batman versus, should we say, with Batman and Big B. Wolf. If you were unaware, he's returning with Fables in the very, very near future as well. That's issue two, just in time to get caught up with issue one if you wish. But if you were a Fables devotee, do not miss the upcoming Fables, because I'm sure it will be very fit. Okay, Critical Role is huge, far huger than I can ever do it justice or make it sound within this video. And there is a brand new series out this week, starting from issue number one. This one, I'm helpfully, is called The Tales of Alexandria, all right, The Bright Queen. That's out now, issue one. I do want to spend a few minutes talking about this because it's beautiful. Gun Honey issue one came and sold out like crazy. All but this cover, which we didn't really get, weirdly, on the initial week of release. It was delayed to us. Happily, it's in now this week. So if you missed it, perfect, because it is just in time for issue two. And what a scorcher of a cover that is as well. That's beautiful. More people have praised it than I have the time to go over in this video. If you are 18 plus and in the mood for some very vicious crime noir get searching that i cannot overestimate and over exaggerate the 18 plus enough please people okay it's quite extreme anything by hard case crime is uh yeah it's up there also this is the foc cover which is virgin so it's not often you get the chance to grab a virgin cover for basically cover price that's just two cover f off the top of my head i think so yeah very cool like that a lot let's uh dip into cheese but not cheesy hell cop you might be imagining Rob Liefeld-esque thighs and huge guns. No. Mr. Haberlin of Spawn fame is dipping his toes in some really crazy sci-fi cyberpunk here. It's gritty. I just want to show you this, because this will give you an indicative kind of reasoning why I'm going on about it. That is not your typical kind of cheese. Very, very, very serious, macabre-looking stuff there. We're going to get back to Haberlin in just a few minutes, weirdly enough. Master Universe Revelation issue 4 is out this week. That is the last part. I'm sure there will be another series of this because this is Salt Light. Nearly swore. Reeled it back in at the last second. Nearly swore. Like bloody crazy. I will be very surprised if Dark Horse do not bring more of that your way very, very soon indeed. I do want to spotlight this for a second. That is the Art Adams variant cover. Incredibly clean, pristine pencils there from Art Adams. Beautiful. Spinning out of Avengers, you've got Phoenix Song Echo. And also, Donny Case is bringing Frog Thor. Back to you. Do you remember all those months ago when I was going on about Frog Thor being a thing? I feel vindicated. Okay. Let's talk about Batman again. Batman and Fear State is currently ongoing. But let's supersede that and talk about Nightwing. Because Nightwing, for us at least, is, if not outselling, selling as much as Batman. You guys are buying this in your droves for a very good reason. It is by far and away one of the best books on the shelves by DC right now. So if you've been missing out, do not be fearful of picking up a collection and catching up. It's an absolute storm. Okay, Cliff Chang is a dude, and when he's doing his own stuff, he's even more of a dude, which he is now. Catwoman at the Lonely City is out to you now on DC Black Label. They've gone old school, DC Black Label, and give it a big style again. Do you ever read Batman Ego back in the day? If you didn't, by the immortal Darwin Cook, this is very reminiscent of that. It's beautiful. Again, very crime noir, but would DC do that kind of thing perfectly? So if you fancy yourself a short, sharp, snappy DC Black Label piece, that is out for you now this week. I've been bullied into showing the variant cover by Don behind the counter. How are you doing, Don? You're right. I'm good. good, thank you. Right, that's now out this week. Right, we have a couple of variant covers to show you. Do you remember we mentioned Brian Haberly in the Spawn fame just a few seconds ago? This cover will be sought after in the very near future, trust me. For the Spawn completists among you, he pops up on Hellcop and one of the ratio variants as well, which we've already sold. But I know you, Spawn guys, you're diehard. You don't go down easy. So get hunting. There will not be many of these left by the evening. Okay? We've got Batman 115. That's to George Molina. Or Jorge to his mother. Very cool. Love that. That's beautiful. We're back to Nightwing for just a second. But the Campbell variant. Campbell, you say? Yes, Jamal. There's more than one of them, people. Get with it. 
X-Men The Trial of Magneto. This is the cover of the week for me, though. This is beautiful. By, I do not know him, but he's called Oscar Vega, and that is stunning. Love that. I'm also being told to go home because it's a little bit late. Okay, there's a lot of delays this week, so bear with us. That we'll be listing and shipping them out as soon as they come to us from our suppliers. If you're a little bit worried about your orders, please do not panic. We will ship them to you as soon as they arrive to us from our suppliers. So we put up a notice about it earlier. But yeah, if you were wondering where all the other stuff is this week, it will be as soon. Catch you in a bit.